Welcome to Movie Recall. In today's video, we will be going through the 2015 movie, Land of Mine. It's time to recall, let's get started. Turn on subtitles and spoilers ahead. The movie starts and we see the following days at the end of World War II in Europe and the liberation of Denmark from German occupation in May 1945. The Wehrmacht occupiers became prisoners of war. Returning to the Danish army after service in the British Parachute Regiment, Sergeant Carl Leopold Rasmussen famously beats up a German prisoner for carrying a Danish flag. When Rasmussen is seemingly done beating the crap out of the soldier, another young German soldier tries to stop the sergeant, but the sergeant turns towards him and starts beating him up now. A group of young German prisoners are handed over to Rasmussen's commanding officer, Captain Ebb Jensen. These soldiers are really young, and Captain Ebb goes on to tell them that all of them have been brought here for a special mission. They are told that all of them are being sent to the west coast, and there, they are going to have to clear all the German landmines. Rasmussen is not at all sympathetic towards these young prisoners after what Hitler did. They are then told that the landmines buried around the Danish west coast are around 2.2 million. They are then told that if any of these soldiers did not do a good job out there, they will either be beaten to death or they will be badly injured. They are given a short training and even in that training, Captain Ebb goes on to beat up many German boys with sticks. One of the boys even died during a training who does not know how to handle a mine. Carl then takes the 13 boys to the west coast where he shows them a particular area. He tells them that there are 45,000 mines just in this area and they have to disarm them right away. The boys are told that they will only be allowed to return home once they are done doing this task. He goes on to tell them that if they manage to defuse six mines every hour, then they will be able to go home within three months. Carl then goes on to make them understand a few things. There are certain symbols on certain mines and they indicate what kind of mine it is. They are given a big piece of paper and Carl tells them that they are going to have to note all the updates about the defused mines on this piece of paper. The boys start working. They work the whole day according to the instructions given to them. That night, when they are about to sleep, a boy named William goes on to say that when he goes home after doing this mine job, he will become a mechanic and work in a factory owned by his dad's friend. Another boy named Helmet tells William that he should stop dreaming. This bright future of his is nothing more than an illusion. Another boy named Sebastian tells Helmet to shut up. One thing that is clear is that these boys still have hope that the enemy is going to allow them to go back home. These boys have not been given anything to eat ever since they have come to this place. We go on to see that near the coast, a woman and her little daughter lives as we see the little girl playing with her doll. We see that among these boys, there are two twins named Werner and Ernst. One of them makes his way to the little girl and talks to her. When the girl is just about to leave, the boy steals her bread and keeps it with him because they still have not been given anything to eat and all of them are starving. Carl then goes on to tell them all to go to sleep and the next day, all of them are again taken to the beach to work and Carl still does not give the boys anything to eat. The boys are down and exhausted. They are barely able to walk but still keep working because they are too afraid of Carl. That evening, when they are done working, Sebastian, the leader of the boys, goes to Carl. He tells them that the boys have not eaten anything since the last two days. Carl says that he does not give a crap about that, adding that no one has sent anything for them so he cannot do anything about their food on his own. Carl then shouts at the boy and tells them to go to sleep right away. At night, all the boys try their best to sleep, but with empty stomachs, they are unable to fall asleep. Helmet then makes his way out in the middle of the night to find something to eat. The next morning, the twins make their way to Carl and tell him that they have not at all been feeling well. They have been vomiting and it seems like they are having a fever, so they should be given some time off work. Carl of course responds by yelling at the boys and tells them to get to work right away. The boys get to work, but they are barely able to move. Wilhelm ends up vomiting right on the mine while trying to defuse it and the mine goes off. All the boys are shocked to see the blast. The boys right away take Wilhelm away. He is badly wounded and they beg Carl to get medical help for the boy. Carl does not listen to them at first, but then goes on to give the boy some morphine and then sends him away on a vehicle to get medical help. That night, all the boys are sick. All of them are seen vomiting and this is when Helmet goes to Carl. He tells him that last night all of them were really hungry, so he went out to find something to eat for them. He brought some leaves for them to eat and after eating that, all these boys have gotten sick. Carl then realizes that they have eaten something really bad and that is why they have gotten food poisoning now. Carl then goes on to make them drink water from the sea so that they keep throwing up and their stomachs get empty. He then goes on to shower all the boys with fresh water so that they feel a little better. 
After showering, he sends all of the boys off to sleep as they need rest. Carl then makes his way to the hospital to check on Wilhelm, but he learns that the boy has already passed away. He makes his way to the military base, gathers some food for the boys to eat, and leaves. He, however, does not ask the captain's permission before doing so. Captain Ebb sees him taking the food, but Carl still leaves. He comes to the boys and distributes the food among them. The boys finally get something to eat. The boys feel a little better after eating something, and he lies to the boys when he tells them that Wilhelm is much better now and he will be back soon. They are again taken to the beach to work. Carl now seems like a changed man. It seems like he has started being a little kind towards the boys. While the boys work, they go on to talk about what they are going to do in the future. Ludwig goes on to say that he is going to make a lot of money when he gets out of this place and makes his way back home. The boys are very much optimistic that they will go back home and have a normal life when they are done doing this work. That evening, they are yet again not given anything to eat and Carl tells them to go to sleep right away. The military base has not sent any food for these prisoners, so Carl cannot do anything about it. In the middle of the night, Captain Ab comes to the room where the boys are sleeping. He starts beating up the boys out of nowhere. He even pisses on the boys and tortures them very badly. Carl gets there and tells Ab that he should leave. When Ab is just about to leave in his vehicle, Carl goes on to tell the captain that there was no need for him to come to this place, and Ab goes on to say that Carl too did not need to steal food from the kitchen for these Germans. These two get into an argument over this, and Carl tries to justify his actions. Ebb, however, warns him not to do any such thing again and leaves. The next day, when the boys are working, Werner is blown to bits after encountering landmines buried one above another, and his twin brother Ernst goes to search for him and continues to deny his death. Carl himself goes on to try and tell the boy that his brother is no more, but Ernst is out of control. Carl then somehow manages to get the boy to sleep. He himself comforts the boy and that day, he realizes that these are just a group of kids, kids who cannot even take care of themselves. He goes on to realize that these kids should be with their mothers. They call for their mothers still. War was with the enemy and these kids should not be suffering because of that. That evening, Sebastian is sitting on the beach alone when he is approached by Carl. Both of them sit together and have a chat. Carl goes on to tell him that William is already dead, adding that he lied to them. Carl has now started being kind to them and has been trying to do whatever he can for these boys. Carl now starts getting attached to the boys and does not even lock their door from outside at night. The next morning, Carl wakes up very early and makes his way to the military headquarters where he right away goes to the kitchen and gets some food for the boys. He however takes care of the fact that nobody sees him, he does not want to be seen by the captain or anyone else because that could put him and the boys in trouble and if he is seen, they are never going to let him take the food. On the other hand, back on the field, we see that Ernst has started to feel very lonely after losing his brother. One day, he catches a rat and keeps it with him. He makes the rat a pet of his own. A large area of the beach has been cleared by the boys and Carl brings a football. He goes on to play football with the boys that day. When they are done playing, Carl's dog comes to him and Carl throws the ball for him. When the dog goes after the ball to get it back, he ends up stepping on a mine and there is a blast. This is how Carl loses his dog. Carl now loses his mind, he tells the boys that they have not at all done a good job. How on earth can he consider this area safe when there are still mines out there? He tells them that he cannot trust the numbers the boys have been giving him. He then goes on to treat one of the boys very badly as he throws the ball away and tells him to bring it back with his mouth just like a dog does. The next day he goes on to tell the boys to check the whole area which has supposedly been cleared already. He tells them to check every centimeter of this area. Helmut is sick of Carl's bad behavior towards them and he decides that he is going to run away in the middle of the night. Sebastian, however, goes on to say that he is more than sure that Carl will let them go home once they have done the job and if Helmut tries to run away, Carl will get angry even more and he will not make good on his promise then. The other boys go on to say that if Sebastian tried to run away, he will get them all in trouble as they will not let any of them go then so they go on to tie up Helmut so that he does not run away. The next morning, the little girl from earlier ends up going to the area of the beach where the mines still have not been diffused. The boys are still sleeping and the mother of that girl comes running to the boys. She wakes them up and begs them to save her little girl. Sebastian right away starts diffusing mines and tries to make way to get to the little girl. Ernst then walks through the uncleared minefield to keep the little girl calm while Sebastian clears a path to safety for her. They manage to rescue her, but instead of returning to safety with Sebastian, Ernst decides that he cannot go on without his twin brother and commits suicide by walking backward into the uncleared section and dies promptly. This incident ends up breaking all the boys' hearts. Sebastian in particular is heartbroken after how the life ended for the twins. 
He goes to a secluded place to spend some time alone. He too starts to lose hope now. Sebastian starts thinking that all of them will die in this place. He is then approached by Carl who goes on to encourage him to keep soldiering on. He tells him that he will go home one day. Carl then tells him that all the boys in the group will go home and meet their families when all of this is over. The boys then forget everything for now and get back to work. Some of them are still defusing the mines while some are loading the extracted mines on a truck. While four of the boys continue to clear the beach with Rasmussen, the rest of them are still loading the extracted ones on the truck. When one of the boys tosses a mine that was not properly defused onto the truck bed of the activated mines, he accidentally sets off a massive chain reaction and kills himself and his comrades standing nearby. Only Sebastian, Ludwig, Helmut, and Rodolf remain. Not even a single body part of those boys is found after the big explosion. By now, 10 boys have lost their lives trying to extract mines. When all of the mines from the beach have been deactivated and taken out, these boys are made to sit on a vehicle that takes them to the military headquarters. Although the boys had been promised that they would be sent home after defusing all of the mines, without Carl's knowledge, Ebb decides to send the surviving four to join a team defusing landmines without the aid of a map in another coastal area. He informs Carl, who argues in vain for Ebb to rescind the order. Carl decides to go against orders and rescues them, driving them within 500 meters of the German border, and they obey his order to run for their freedom. And with that, the movie comes to an end. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps.